Welcome to Manitoulin Cooks and I'm Tammy Albers. This is my dear friend and videographer extraordinaire, Brianna Dejean, also known as Brianna Mary Bell. Brianna, whatever. She's Brianna, good. Brianna, Brie oh. like the cheese. Brie, Brie like the cheese? Yeah. Okay. Any other B name yeah. I've been called, so it's fine. And we're sitting in the, their, their dining area of this really cool building. And uh, we're doing Easter eggs, but we're not doing traditional Easter eggs. We're not dunking in the food coloring. This is using, so first, before I go any further, we have to either blow the eggs, which is poking holes in each end. You can find this on YouTube. If you Google how to blow eggs, it will give you many steps. So for those of you who've never blown eggs before, and it's not as easy as it looks, uh, I'm not uh, going to do this because it's not attractive either. I feel like my cheeks are puffing out and my eyes might fall. You, you take a small needle or a thumbtack and if you put a little square of tape on each end, the, it reduces the chance of, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that, reduces the chance of it cracking on each end. And as once the hole is in, you take a bigger darning needle and kind of wiggle it around a bit to make both ends and then you plant your lips firmly on the egg and blow and come up for air and blow till it's empty. And every, when, when you're in there with the darning needle, make sure you've stabbed the yolk a few times. Yes. And it even helps to shake it up a bit because everything kind of emulsifies together and it's easier. So we have one hole, one end, and then the other hole, the other end, and then Blow. Blow. And hopefully you don't like kill the egg. Yeah. So these have all been blown. Um, and I saw this really cool trick and tried it with a couple of ladies in my shag window neighborhood. And it's really fascinating. You get probably at like Salvation Army or a thrift shop or something. I think I'm going to go to a Signac and there's a church that has this secondhand store. Mm -hmm. But they have to be 100% silk men's ties. And you cut them into squares and you roll as long as your the eggs are facing the the color side the print okay, okay and you roll it up and you take little bitty elastics and just hair elastics hair elastics and dollar store they can also be used for other things like eggs and small documents or whatever or hair or hair I broke the egg. I was too <laughs> aggressive. Let's try this again. <laughs> Are we filming? Dang. So maybe I just should be a little easier mm -hmm. gently. Oh, yeah, maybe don't, you know, squish and kill the egg. Yeah. Oh, they look like little bonbons. They do, actually. They're very cute. Are you okay, Bella? <laughs> She's like peeing You know why she wanted to be with us? I have no idea why she wanted to be with us. Because we're weird. <laughs> and we're entertaining to her. <laughs> right? It's like your friends are not this weird because they don't feel, they, they haven't reached the age where they give a Don't up. give a Don't give a <laughs> what anybody thinks. All right. I got my Kay. egg. Okay. There's an egg. This is cute. This. We don't even need to do the rest. No, like, but this, I thought this was the coolest thing because it's so, so different cute. from what any of us have ever learned as kids. I would like to learn how to do sort of that tie dye fabric one with them, but I don't know how to do that with eggs. Yeah. I have done the wax, like you draw on with wax and mm -hmm. that's the mm -hmm. Ukrainian way of mm -hmm. doing it. Okay, this, come on little guy. So the other thing we do with this is we boil a pot of water with a probably, depending on how much water you need in the pot for your eggs, probably a quarter of a cup or more of white vinegar. And the white vinegar helps the color leach onto the calcification of the eggs. And once you immerse these, you let them boil away and simmer away for about 20 minutes and you take them out, let them cool unwrap them and we will show you the finished product and they're quite pretty. I think this now, is not our traditional cooking show. This is pre-Easter, but I have to say they are local eggs. I get them from a farmer 
just around the corner from where I live. But if I, I can't tell you who I get them from because then I'd have to kill you. So you want this to be tight, the elastic. You can use hair elastics from Dollarama. You can use them from a store where you've got you know, paper and office supply store and stuff like that. And if you want to, you can take a piece of cotton. So I'm going to maybe do it on a couple with the more predominant, um, I need more elastics, darling. Oh, damn. With uh, there's so I have a couple of pieces of white cotton because the ones, jeez Louise, it's raining elastics. Jeez, I feel, I feel like I should break out into song. <laughs> um, so the stuff with the more predominant patterns, the real squirrely stuff, you want to wrap white cotton around the tie. How come they're together? This is ridiculous. Okay, but we, why do we need the cotton? What is the cotton will help the pattern more, like the more predominant pattern adhere to the egg because there will be some dye leaching out into the water. It will not hurt their pot, I promise. So this is like a diaper. For it is. It's kind of like an egg diaper and it helps confirm that the pattern will adhere to the egg. Okay. That's what I'm told. Okay. I could be wrong. I mean, it makes sense to me. Yeah. So we're not cooking anything, we're, we're making something pretty and giving people ideas at home. If you have old silk ties at home, you don't know what to do with them. Okay, so then we immerse these in the pot of boiling water and vinegar, and we will set a timer for 20 minutes, or, you know, we'll, we'll check our watches. And uh, we'll be back when these are out, and we will unwrap them for you, and you can see what we've done. Thanks. We want to push these down. They're not going to stay down. We might have to weigh them down with something, but that's okay. We want to keep the eggs under water. And it's 207, so we'll come back to those in 20 minutes. What's that mean? What's that math? 227. 227. Uh, okay. I will just do that and keep Boom. everything together. Boom. Good job. Oh High yeah. Five. What? High five. Yeah. High five. <laughs> Oh, look at the color. So we have forever dyed Brianna's pot green. You didn't, don't, you didn't tell me that was going to happen. Don't tell her I did that. Um, and we're taking these out now carefully. Some of the elastics were rude. Some were not. Some of the elastics melted. Oh, good. Oh. Isn't that special? She's never going to let me come back and play at her house again. There we go. And we're going to dump this right away. So, let us see if our egg experiment worked out. And we'll take the elastics off. It is an experiment, but I have seen it done and it worked. But you know, we're doing this for camera, so it could be different. Oh, we have color. It's not exactly like the tie, but it's pretty. We have another one. Yeah, it didn't work so well because... You need the cotton? Maybe the cotton or something. Maybe it had already been dyed, the cotton or the silk. Well, that one looks kind of cool. That's cool. <laughs> and it's peeing. That's cool too. Oh, that's pretty. Whoo, that's hot. Oh, and the water was not coming out of there. No, we're not doing that, that hurts. Hi, buddy. You're such a good boy. You're such a handsome dog. Okay, so here's, see what's happening? Ooh. It will take the, it will hold the pattern, but I think we do need the cotton wrapped around. So this is the pattern from the tie on the egg. And each egg will look different, especially when you tie each ends with the elastic. It, uh, it makes some little swirls at the top and the bottom. Very this nice. is really pretty because it was just 
almost the, the herringbone black and navy, so it almost looks like a tie-dye funky egg. That's cool. I dig it. And this was a plain green tie, and uh, it also did some swirlies. This tie had been used before, so it didn't set quite as nice, but they all have a pretty nature color look to them. There's a bit of pattern there. But some of them are beautiful, so it's a YouTube video if you can find it on how to use silk ties to dye Easter eggs. So thank you for joining us and I wish everyone who celebrates Easter a wonderful Easter with family and friends and uh, enjoy your meals, enjoy your chocolate. Thank you very much for joining us on Manitoulin Cooks. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Bye!